Hello and welcome to the Atlantic Cantlepin Singles Tour Class D Playoffs, the quarterfinals, the opening round from Academy Lanes Pub 125, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Paul Grant live on the ACST Facebook page. Today it's the Twin Towers, the Gentle Giant, the number six seed Bill Olson out of Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire, 148-104, playing his division rival in the playoffs in the third meeting of the year. The Titan, John Hogan, the third seed, 157-95. Bill won the first meeting nine points to five on the road. John on the road last time, 10 points to four. Here are the standings for the eight playoff teams out of 16 that made it. Rich Lerman, the number one seed, will see Wednesday night, 7 o'clock against 8th seed Ray McAllister. Wynn Trafton already beat Chris Curley last week. And Brian Patton is bowling this Thursday night in Class C. But right now, this is what we have for the standings for Class D. Sarah Wright won a match against Alex Patton, rather. Brian Patton bowling for Class C. Alex and D is out, a good match on Kenneth Molly Network on YouTube. And here's what we have so far for the first round of the playoffs. Here we go underway. So during the regular season, it's 14 points for a match, two points for a win, for a string, one for a tie, four for total in the playoffs. Nada. It's just total pinfall. If we tie up to five, we do a one string roll off so somebody wins. The gentle giant, Bill Olson, starts the first of five. Good. Good crowd watching on hand. Bill, former 112 lead bowler, out of the game for a few years, just came back about a year or so ago. Beautiful start, got a split, 2-1, looked very good in the head pin pocket, 3-6 right, 7 pin left. We'll put the scores on the screen after each string, and the running totals. Olsen, oh, what a try! You like three double strikes in practice, we moved over here to get better reception in the right room, in lanes 43-44, right next to Wicked X. That was a great cut shot. And the channel for a nine to stop the first of five. Hello, Greg Pack from Australia watching. Six o'clock schedule starts out a little bit late. We're trying to get signal and links 35, 36 didn't work. So we, somebody volunteered their hotspot. So we get the signal here live. Another good ball, another split. Four left, three, six, ten right. Being on the headband's a good thing. In fact, 47% of the time for class A bowls, these are D bowlers, in that head pin results in the mark 47% of the time. Stats by Kent Bowling Network. That one got away. Three, six, four left. The Gentle Giant, just a great guy on and off lanes, a class act. That'll be a seven. 16 through two in the first of five. Opening round playoffs, the quarterfinals. Bill's from Derry, New Hampshire, actually Everett, Massachusetts. Average between 96 and 98 in his leagues, but a little bit better in the ACST. 99.27, around fifth most of the year on average out of the 16 teams. Another head pin hit on the crossover. It's the five right, the eight left. Three for three in the head pin, finally, no split. Last team, it's first year. For a spare, looks good. Oh, you got it. 26 in the ball through three. Those two pinners don't look easy. The class D balls, they go less than one and two times. Let's see what the fill will be. First, if it miss, comes back with a five and the nine. He's got a four horseman check mark. The two is left, the one is the middle pin, to the right of the one is the three, six, ten, a plank in between. Spare five, 31 through three. That one got away right, spins back, but can't reach the one, two, three. Consistency's been his issue all year round. Nice ball there for a ten. Throwing a good ball overall, a couple of misses on the side of the head pin, but 41 through four, decent start. On track to beat his average. It's overall high single for a season, uh, rather career average for a whole season. 112. A very good bowler in his prime. Going 45 years off and on at Canopy Bowling. Started at age 8. Another head pin hit. And he breaks up the parallel pins. And the 4 and the 7, the 5 holds up. Making something out of nothing. 4 for 4 in the head pin. That usually is a great sign. Although sometimes it doesn't feel that way. 
Single pin for a spare. The wood. You got it. He'll take that one. A side relief. 51 in the ball at the half. Two marks last three. The Gentle Giant. Off to a terrific start. Two for two amicable spares. And that's how you start the playoffs. Playoffs? John, I did not make this nickname. He wanted to be called the Titan. We may get a different nickname for him, but for now he wants to be called the Titan. So we'll go with that. The Titan, the Gentle Giant, head to head. Puts up the 10 pin. The first match of the season was exciting. You can watch it. It was low scoring, but very competitive, very tight, all the way through. And as tight as you can get. A 485-485 tie. In week one of the season, Bill going 9-5 and five on the road at Lakeside Lane in Manchester, New Hampshire. 4-2 split. The winner of this match, Bill's, Bill Olsen, Bill wins will take you to number one seed, Rich Lerman, and we'll see against number eight, Ray McAllister, Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, live on the ACS Facebook page. Hogan starts his playoff with an eight, maybe a nine, it's an eight. Wiggling one, wiggling seven, won't go, so an eight. He's down one in the string. So Bill wins tonight. I'll take either number one seed Rich Lerman or number five seed Sarah Wright who edged Alex Patton in a thriller on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube. On Saturday, he's got 22 going that final string and won it going away. She's on Academy Lanes this year. Lemon drop. It's one dollar for Kenneth for cancer. Balls agreed. That's the six pin you're right, the second pin you're right. Or the second pin left, the fourth pin you first play. You pluck it out, one dollar. Optional donation, 500 spare a strike. Ten dollars for Bill Olson. <laughs> That's how you funny story about Bill Olson later on. About the lemon drop pool. One, three, eight, ten. It's great to see you, Greg, on the stream as always. And this right got the three, the one, eight, and ten. For a seven. Fifteen through two. Still down one of the string. Up against a spare five, a ten, and a spare. From the gentle giant, Bill Olson. Please share this match, those watching. It's a great match. Great to see the Class D Bowls in their first season. And Class E coming next year as well, in September. Logan, fortune split. Contact Danny Finn, F-I-N-N, -N, on Facebook Messenger only, please, for Class A, B, C, D, or E next season. I already asked three months ago to cover an E match in Central Park Lanes, East Boston, Mass, in September. Glad to do it. They won't get away. Got the four pin only. One, two, eight. Right side, six, ten. Jeff Little, thanks for watching. The defending champ, the laser, class C. Did not make class B class. Just missed by a smidge. Great effort in his first season. Hogan, big ball. Got four of the five, not bad. That's a nine. Now he trails by seven, 31 24 through three completed boxes in the opening round playoffs. Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour, class D from Academy Lanes, the brand new Pub 125. Open during the mixed worlds two years ago this June high quality food great people in a full gorgeous looking bar okay another lemon drop that's two dollars already I want my two dollars reference to Better Off Dead if you know what I'm talking about that movie in the 80s John Cusack movie Better Off Dead hilarious movie Paperboy I want my two dollars two dollars Hogan can't, can't find the range no head pinch yet one, two, four, the eight, wiggling behind the two, the ten right corner, fourth box, first string, five string format. Great to be with you all. Another tough box of seven. Thirty-one through four, he's down ten, he's up against a spare. But don't forget, it's not two points for a string, it's total pinfall, all that matters. We've had matches this year where bowls have won four of the five strings and lost total. Thank you, Michael, for the correct kind words. Greatly appreciated. It means a lot. Logan spins down eight somehow. One in the eight. Correction, one in the nine. One in front, nine back right. Eight would be the left side of that. Head pin behind. I know the numbers. I just say them wrong sometimes. For a spare. He will make him steal it. He does. That's larceny. <laughs> Lock him up. 41 and a half. Plus the ball. Both on spares. He's going to be happy about that one. Anyway, they fall. Over to lane 43 for the first time. Hello, Jim Lazinski. Good evening. It's early Monday, May 20th, 24 match. 
Phil Schmidt, thanks for watching. Great to see you on the stream. It's great to cover the Class D boys. They're fired up to have coverage all year round. Give them their credit. They're working hard to go up the ranks to see next year, hopefully B, and then A down the road. What's it all about. Olsen, two in the spare. 53 half. That puts about 12 minus the ball from John Hogan as a spare five earlier in the third box. Penny well up in that seven box in a second. Now he's got the one, three, and the seven. The one goes, the three goes. What about the seven? No love for the seven pin. We must stop by International Kenneth Mullen Association rules of the ICBA. The left hander is a 10. 63 through 6 in the first to five. The quarterfinals, the open round playoffs. And if you just tuned in late, we'll put the standings up in a little bit. And what's happened so far? One round has been done already in Class D Saturday, and you must watch that on Canada from Morning Network on YouTube. You'll absolutely love that match. And Alex Pat and Sarah Wright. Two great people. And Brian Patton helped with the scoreboard that day with Alex's computer setup and Brian has done wonders, raising his son Alex. Class act, all the way. Great young guy. Also went to that wood to settle down to 1-9-10 on lane 43. And you get a spare. It looks good. Spins around. Won't go. A little light in the head pin. Not an easy shot either way. Use the wood, he gets a nine. 72 through seven here in the first. Home of the 2024 Mixed World Tournament here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125. Second to last weekend of June. Starting at one o'clock that Friday. June 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 1 p.m. that Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. Nice ball, nine. King is the five. Five head pin hits unofficially. It's made one already, single pin. For a spare. Can't wait for that wood to stop. Completely must stop. Can something can roll around for 30 seconds or two minutes? Must stop completely. You can throw the ball if it stops and then moves after you release the ball. First, third spare with the wood. He got it! Three for three, unmakeable spares. Two for two, and single pin. That's a good sign. 82 and a ball through eight. Trying to build a cushion. Up 12 at the half, minus a ball. Hogan on his spare next. I was going to call him Hogan Hero for his nickname. Got to the TV show. On the crossover, strike on spare. Wow! The gentle giant, a big 20. 92 through eight. 102 plus two. Ninth, Class D, folks, Class D. That's how you fill a spare. Three strikes in practice, doing double earlier. First ball to strike, just three. We get two, though. That's always the thing you try to motivate people. You throw a bad ball, shake it off. Second ball on the strike. Hooks right. Spins back for the nine. One, five, seven. A decent fill. Seven in the strike. 109 through nine. Averaging 99.27 in the 18 week season. He'll get a nine. And an excellent start. 118 for the gentle giant, Bill Olson, out of Lakeside Lanes. Manchester, Manchester gets a nice hand for the crowd here watching. That's going to be a sad relief. He got his beer from the pub that's closed today. They got to open up just for him. He likes a beer before he starts. Ralph Moore and root for John Hogan. Phil, you want to bowling balls too? Oh, you want your bowling balls? Yeah. I'm going to show Bill Olson's brand new bowling balls. You get a kick out of this one when you get a chance. His next ball, Hogan, strike on spare himself. His first head pin hit, a big twenty bucks. He fills his spare with a strike. Fun to watch the D bowlers. 
51 half, 61 plus 2 through 6, and take the lead here for now. Going for a double strike, and look at this lead, 4, 7, 9, 10, Wood rolling around. Let's see if we can use this somehow. It's high up. That's his first split on two head pin hits. So F and 0 and 0 for 5 on his first five balls, first five blocks on the head pin. It's two in a row in the pocket. Nick Olson watching. What's a nice string from the your father? Second ball, almost. Wood coming back, runs out of real estate. A big nine fill though, 70 through six, puts him up seven right now, box to box. His first lead. Olson, uh, rather Hogan and nine against Bill Olson. That puts him at 79 through seven. 118 string from Bill Olson he's up against, but against five string, total format, all that matters. For Class A bowls, the average strike fill is 8.3, score 6.5. Stats by Bill never can. Bill is a 10 fill in a strike, and John is a 9 fill in a strike. Got a chance here, Mr. Ned Benton. Wood behind, 1 3 6. That's a make all fair chance. Just missed outside the wood, took down the six. Didn't miss by much. One of the three, Andy Klemper watching. Nice guy also, Andy Klemper. Fun to cover him during the year. He had a great match against Jeremy Van Dyke. The losing effort to a 566. Jeremy threw a 602. That's on Kenneth Bowling Network on YouTube. It's a great match, and Jeremy got the eight pin into the seven for an improbable 10 box. Or spare, rather, and helped him win the match. The string. Hogan is at 88 through eight. Eight's a wild after that nine box. Two box to go, four strings this opening round playoffs. After the string will show the running totals, we put these scenarios in the playoffs as well. Let's go third lemon drop of the string. 6-10. Nothing like the great game of cannibal bowling. It's unbelievable. Anybody can bowl all ages. The 102 year old are bowling in the Wednesday senior leagues during the regular season, Charlie. Okay, he gets left, he has the one, three, and the eight. Nine box, first string. He's 30, 30 pins in these two boxes to tie this string. Johnny, 101.46 in the season. That's nice nine. Roll into the eight, slow motion. Full stop short. 97 through nine. Double strike to win the string. But again, it's five string format, no points like the regular season. There are 16 teams in each conference, a North and a Southern Conference. The one of the North plays one of the South. Three playoff rounds received after each round. Four division winners, four wild card winners. One plays eight, two, seven, three, six, four, five. It's the three, six matchup. And that's a four, two split. Perfect shot on the head pin, two full. So three head pin hits, two splits. Bill had six head pin hits, two splits. Got the object pin. Not much to show for that one. Two, four left, six not right, nine left and back. Best you can do is 107. Over average for both bowlers. On. He's lucky at an eight, almost nine. It's an eight box and a good string. Five over 100. Bill Olsen takes it by 13 pins with four strings to go. The totals on the side, too, please. Let's show the standings here before we start our second string. We'll put the running totals up in just a moment. Here it's we are. If you missed it earlier on, these are the standings, the playoff teams that came in out of 16. Number one seed, Rich Lerner will see Wednesday night against Ray McCallister, 7 o'clock live on the ACST Facebook page at Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. Win trapped and beat Chris Curley last Monday night. And a good one. Chris was leading up for all four strings. Richard went at that big 128 final string to win it by 11. Joan Hogan, Bill Olson here for the third time to this season in the same division. Alex Patton lost a tough one to Sarah Wright, who came from behind, 22 down on that last string. So I mean, portrait mode limits our restrictions that we can do, so I'll just roll this across. And back over to lane 44 to start a second string. You have to break down, get an iPhone in the fall, and the new one comes out. and trying to be steady, and this is the problem he's had all year. That one got away. Now this Bill's first string, excellent string. Big spare strike combination. 
and John Hogan. Good metal string. Then we're going to wait again. That's a lemon drop. But come this a dollar, you know it's a second ball. Look them off side by side next time. It's hard to start a five to start the second string of five. So here's the first string running total. So Bill, tough start for the second, up 13 coming in after one. Again, it's five string total pinfall, all that matters. Over time, if we tie, we had one two years ago, and it's Danny Finn, the number six seed, known as Class B back then. Now, semi pro, now it's Class B. As Olsen is stuck in parallel time, parallel pins, I call it parallel time, reference the old Dark Shadow show in the 60s and 70s. It's a good place to get away when you want to get out of this world for a bit. Nothing good old parallel time. Four, seven left, five, eight, right. Locked out the eight. Good. Not officially a split in that first ball. Splits are based on head pin hits, if you don't know that. That's a channel for a seven, no good. They're just 12 through two. So again, Bill wins his match. He takes on number one seed, Rich Lerman. If he beats Ray McAllister, Wednesday night, seven o'clock, live coverage. And if Ray McAllister wins the upset by points, by, by, based on standings, he'll take on Sarah Wright, the fifth seed. John Olson, John, rather, Hogan will take on either Rich Lerman or Sarah Wright. And someone's going to bowl one trapped. That's not right. Someone's going to have to bowl one trapped and check that just a moment. Bill is a 4 1 split. So if Ray McAllister wins, win trapped would take on Bill Olson. Nice shot, two full. Wobbling two, four, and ten. So if Rich Chris Curl is seventh, he's already out. The eighth seed loses to Rich Lerman, Ray McAllister. Then Win Trapped would take on Bill Olson if he wins. As he gets an eight, just twenty through three in the second of five. If the remaining top seeds win, based on that scenario, Rich Lerman would take on Sarah Wright. If Bill Olson wins tonight, and Rich Lerman wins Wednesday night, Bill plays Rich Lerman the second round. If Ray McCallis to be his number one seed, Rich Lerman Wednesday night. Nice ball, nine. Third time he's had a nine drop. Then when trapped and would play Bill Olson. You got that? <laughs> Thanks, Nicholas Brown. Thanks for watching Lane. Britain, the coach. Bring back the coach for next year. We're starting a campaign to bring you back, coach. Great guy. Fun to cover him all year round. Love covering the coach, Lane Britton, out of Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. Great coach, umpire, two-time national championship semi-pro team. Three for three on single pins for spares. What a strange game. 20 through three, a nine drop of spare. He's four for four, makeable spares in the match. Thirty in a ball through four. Wolf star right, spins back for the nine. One, three, six, ten, four. It's been right, the king, the five, behind the one. 35 through 4. Olsen just missed it, hit by a smidge. Corey Leesey, Mr. Caleb from Corner Watching. I think I have tomorrow off. I have to check my schedule. <laughs> All over, out of sweats right now. But I have a doublehead on Wednesday, match Thursday night. Olsen at 10, the gentle giant. Tough half, but a decent ending considering that 5 7 start, 8. Spare 5 10, 45 at the half. Starting the second string, the number three seed, the home bowler, John Hogan, had a strong finish in that first string, but lost at 118-105. Corey, I just mentally prepared myself for it. Fatigue and all. To answer your question. Hogan, nice pocket shot by a 2-2 split, making a 1-2 split, and decent wood bouncing to the right of the two. On the left, 6-10 on the right. Took him six boxes to get his first head pin hit in the first. He had three in that second half, none in the first. Two splits and three head hits in that first. With the wood, won't go. Won't hit that object pin the two. Speaking of Corey Lee, you can catch him on Candlepin Corner on YouTube. Watch their skins program out of Lee Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. With 
coach, Jordan Britton, Lane Britton's son, the coach's son, who's also a coach, also. Snowboard Mutual High School, Hogan 9 through 1. Up 4 in the spring, down 9 in the match. Also, the podcast, the occasional podcast, I like to say, on Canopin Corner on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel, Canopin Corner on YouTube, for great skin content and occasional, occasional, occasional podcasts. Let's collect, so look at this, a 1 5 bullseye sent to Worcester. Talk about perfection. That's a sniper shot, I call it. That's cool sometimes, Canopin Bowling. It's a sport for all ages. Get your friends out. In the same spot, that's a long grant shot. Some of the leagues are forming here at Academy Lanes, your local bowling center in Maine, New Hampshire, Canada, Massachusetts, wherever they have them. Fall leagues also, so I sound it right now. And he comes back for, look at that, that four almost held, held up. There goes the two. He ends up with a seven after all that. And considering, he said, I'll take that. 16 through two, up four of the string. Down nine in the match. Case McCool watch nobody in a split yet, Casey. No curly shuffles in the wood. Casey's a funny guy. Out of Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, Hampshire, in the Class B this year after Class C. Probably back in Class C next year. Beautiful ball, eight, maybe nine, nine. The five drops. Seven holds up, two pieces in front, a couple, a three to the right, a bunch formation to the right. Half the pins laying down. His first nine drop of the match for a spare. He got it. 26 in the ball through three. Down seven in the match. He's up against a spare five and a ten. Next two boxes. An eight fell to take a temporary lead in the match. In the match. Hooks it right and gets four. Maybe five, eight falls down, so it's the one, two, four, seven, four has been left, and behind the head pin is the fifteen pin, that's the five. For the ladies, I call it the queen pin. That's a five, Phil, 31 through three. Eleven in the string, down just two in the match. Only the seven. Get a spare strike combination to strike both the nine, Phil, on that first, to keep it close. Two terrific guys. Twin towers, you can call them. That's a seven again. 38 through four. Now he's up three in the string, down 10 in the match. Up against a 10. Second string of five. Thursday night, either six o'clock or seven o'clock. Time's escaping me. The general, Brian Patton, Class C. In the conference semifinals last year, trying to win the whole thing this year. The number one seed. In action. Okay, 3 1 split, 4 left, 3 6 10 right, 3 head pin hits, 3 splits here in the second. <laughs> Brian Sick and Eric Sikowski survived the 8th spot with threats from Lane Britton and Ryan Villain down the stretch. Nice shot, just missed, I thought he had it. That was a speck or less. 3 middle right, 4 left, 10 right. Somehow trying to get to 48 at the half. And missed for a seven, three sevens and a half, a spare five in the middle, a 45 half. We're tied in the string. Goes up by a baker's dozen, halfway through the second of five, back to lane 43 at Academy Lanes. Up one, 20, 20, 25, Haven Mass. <laughs> hey, Bill, can you get one of your bowling balls? What? Can I get one of your bowling balls? The new ones? Yeah. They're back in the car. Okay. The Bill got some new bowling balls, shiny bowling balls. And it says gentle on one of them and giant on the other one. He has two say gentle and two say giant. It's his nickname I gave him. So that's very flattering. The gentle giant bowling balls. But he's not using them tonight. He just got them. So we we'll be practicing that during the summertime and use them for the fall. <coughs> Both balls returning to the ACST next season. I believe John Hogan has committed to it. Olsen trying to a good second half. Three. And a spare five in the fourth. He had three spares, one strike in the first. And 118-105 win. That one got away. Seven standing. Pretty good bowl, like I said earlier. His high career average for a whole season, 112. 172 high single. High triple, 424. High five, 636. And considering that mess he had, he gets a seven. 
52 through 6 in the second and five, the quarterfinal playoffs. Class D Northern Conference first year. Class D coming next year. Again, to sign up for the Atlantic Candle Pin Symbols Tour, ACST, please message Danny Finn, F I N N, on Facebook Messenger only, please. Olsen, camp on that bid. Lucky gets seven. There goes the ten, maybe. That goes the four, seven, out the ten. It's the one, two. Generous leave. He threw it away. He almost stole it. Got the two. Would stop short of the one. That's his first makeable spare miss. Five tries. Wasn't there for nine. 61 through seven. Michael, you can come and watch the mixed balls anytime. Worlds, whenever they hit the Worlds, fans are always welcome to come and watch. Some bowl is actually, fans come and watch and they actually get running totals from other matches report to us, which makes our job a lot easier to let fans know all the other matches going on. Olsen just missed right, horseman a post. One, three, six, ten is the four horseman right, seven left corner. Trying to finish strong after a tough start. After a brilliant first string, 118. Yes, Mr. Edmund took out the three. That one lit hang over that lip. But the wood kind of almost avoided it. Gets the 7-10 lead for an eight. 69 through eight here in the second of five. Yeah. That first match, again, was low scoring, but if it's on YouTube on Camp Morning. That was a great match to call, Lakeside Lanes, to Lincoln's Hall of Fame house. It was just a great, great match. The four strings are tight. Johnny won by 12 on the fifth string to tie the match. And Bill took it 9-5, to five. and John Hogan's 47th birthday. That perfect shot, spread eagle. Only four hit minutes, 10 overall, and 19 boxes, three splits overall. I get three. It's two. It's the two left, three, six, ten right. Yeah, that Pub 125, like you said, Corey, I mentioned earlier, it's just an awesome place to look at. It's gorgeous. The staff is wonderful. A great ownership. Tough six. Just 75 to nine. What a funny game. That's why I used to bowl, get a 118, come back with an 80 or something like that. My strangest night was in. 1979, the Salem, Massachusetts Chamber of Commerce League, the early bird division, the night I was in that L division, 32 teams overall. I had a 136 with no marks in the first half, five spares in a row, 136. Yeah. Gets three there. Come back with an 81 second with no marks, including a three and a six box. Then I threw four separate spares, four strikes, four spares, four separate strikes, and a 169. My eighth single for improbable 386, 136, 81, 169. Unbelievable. Then he threw a 387 with a 161 another time later on. Just bowling once a week with no practice. About 30 years in leagues off and on. Left came up from bowling. Miss it. Ball set up the wall. It's a 9. A disappointing 84 second string. 202. Still over his average though. John Hogan's a chance to cut the deficit down. We're tied at the half. 45-45. I'm going to put the score up there. Put your, put your uh, nine box up there. Don't don't clear Bill at the end of the string, please, so I can see running totals. Don't clear your screen. Don't clear it. Yeah. All right, so they just fixed that scoreboard. Now it's 84 officially. Hogan pushes three. A lot of these hits today so far. Lost the first 118-105. Has a chance to win the string. Needs 41 to win the string. 30, 40 to win the string. Five boxes, but no points like the regular season. Where it's two points for a win, one for tie, four for total. Nice shot. Can't reach the corners. That's the seven and the ten. For those who don't know the pin numbers. The wood, he gets almost a ten. Wood tricky dribbles. For a nine. 54 52. He's up two in the string, down 11 in the match. Dave Peterson, yep, that feels like a dream still. That counts the cash strike, the last strike in the show's history. 
I got a phone call in 1980 on a Tuesday afternoon not the sound of the Moody Blues and uh, they asked me to come on the show because I sent a contestant card to Caleb from Lane's in Salem, Mass. And I said, aren't you laughing? Yeah. They said, there's a third money drop of the match. Three dollars for Caleb for cancer. Lost for the bowl, great for the charity. And they said, we'll take them for two more weeks in advance. So I said, okay. I came down and threw, drew number three. It was the third bowl. Two practice boxes, about an hour before the show. I hadn't bowled the league in six months. I think I threw a three-string practice a week before. Both were in the head pin. A nine and eight drop, and about an hour later on, I'm on the show, do my interview. The microphone they gave me was not planned. Nice out, nine, 63 through seven. So he's up 11 in the string. He's down just two in the match. The correction, 63, 61. So up two in the string, 11 in the match. And then I threw a strike, and it felt like a dream. It still does, 44 years later. $20 to $20 jack by a split with a pin pal, which is then connected that postcard in. Another lemon drop. It's two in a row. Four in this match. And you can donate your lemon drops or any donations via Venmo. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. You laugh. We helped nine families in the last two years. Some give five, some give ten, some give twenty. One guy gave fifty. It all goes to Candlepin Bowlers and their family members going through cancer treatments. A lot of needs out there. That's how you help raise money. Plus, the Wow shirt's going away now. We have the for Cancer shirts and hats made by Kim Baker. $10 each item goes to the charity. Nice shot. That one will go 7-10 again for an 8. 71-8. Second string of 5. So now he's up 2 in the string still and still third, 11 in the match. He's down. That's my quick story. I can't help the cash. Dave Peterson. I have it on VHS tape. Now it's on Alley Chat. Thanks to Frank Luker and Brenda O'Dowd for doing that. Parallel pins plus the three to the right. Late in the second. Beautiful ball. <laughs> Just missed the two. Thought he had that one too. Two terrific guys. Class acts on and off the lanes. John involved in Special Olympics also. It's a nine, 89, a five in the string, down just eight in the match. A mark to perhaps take lead is up against a nine with three strings to go. Thanks to Bill's friend visiting, he'll use his hotspot to get us on off the air. We could not get on earlier. Despite nobody bowling in the house. 4 2 split. Double headed Wednesday. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Next string. Class C and Class D. Hogan hooked left. And still, still 5, maybe 6. Leaning toward the 8. Can't quite get there. For me, they say you can't get there from here. Pepperidge Farm remembers. 10, 90, second string, low scoring, but close. The Titan, Bill Olson, nine, uh, John Hogan, 90. The General Giant, Bill Olson, 84. So John takes six off the, off the deficit. It's a seven pin lead for Bill Olson, the number six seed, over the number three seed with three strings to go. 202, 195. We'll put the official score up in just a moment. We're at Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Havel Mass, Paul Grant Live on the ACST Facebook page. Great to be with you all on this Monday evening, May 20th, 2024. It's the opening round quarter finals, conference quarterfinals. Three rounds in the conference, and then we have a neutral site for the ACST playoffs. We have four matches, class A through D. That's the running total, so you can see that in this darn portrait mode. Thanks, Facebook. Do I get banned for saying that? Laugh out loud. And here's the running totals. Bill 118, 105. They both struggled. John 90, 84. It's 202, 195. Officially confirmed. Now a middle string underway. Nice ball. The low full. 3-3 three, three split. Wood slides between the 3-6. 10 on the right. Left side is the triangle. 4 middle. 7 left. 8 right. Double could help. 
But the object pin, lucky you get a bunch. That's the four seven. Nothing like the great game of cannibal bowling. An unbelievable sport for all ages. A lot of fun, exercise, a lot of great relationships. Nine to start the third of five. So Rich Lerman, Wednesday night, takes on Ray McCallis at 7 o'clock. The primetime match early that day, 10 o'clock morning. A great 3-6 matchup. Jeremy Van Dyke, the number three seed host at Lee Lance National Hampshire. The number six seed, Scott Bradish, who bowls here. And on TV 10 times in the past, Scott Bradish. An excellent first ring match. 10 a.m. matinee match this Wednesday. Day-night doubleheader. Wednesday, May 22nd, live on the ACST Facebook page. Mark the calendars for that one. Really fun. Number one seed, Rich Lerman. Number eight seed, Ray McAllister. The 7 o'clock match. Also at Lee Lane in Nashville, Hampshire. Make a day out there of it. Olsen gets the 10 pin only. Big second ball. Almost got it. Look at the up stuff. And it comes back, but the other one got in the way. Tapped it. The rocking chair. The 2 pin won't go. Olsen knocks it down for a 10. 19 through 2 in the middle string. It's never too late to get a Candlepin gift card to your local bowling center in Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, the Maritimes of Canada. Wherever they have Candlepin bowling in rare spots across the country, please support your local bowling centers. They work their tail off. Keep them thriving and alive. Keep more importantly, your friends and family involved. He almost got his first lemon drop. Not the 6 and the 10. Candlepin gift cards are Father's Day, a Pulse Mother's Day gift, a graduation gift, birthdays, anniversaries, a thank you gift. What the heck, yeah. Candlepin gift cards are a gift that keeps on giving, not just the holidays, all year round. I can't believe here for Olsen. Good shot. Got two somehow for a risk. A tough six. 25 through three and string number three. Michael, do I have to get an iPhone? I guess I have to. But I'm going to wait for the new model to come out. Usually it's better features than last year's model with the uh, hopefully longer battery life. I like the big screens. I have the Ultra 21, top line 2021 version, Galaxy 6.8 screen. 6.8 screen. Olsen strike! Almost! The train, the Haver line, hits the five, went right by it. The train going by, in fact, behind here, that may have gone. But the the T is never and the MBT is never on time anyway. Three for three so far in single pins for spares. Make it four for four. Help him keep the lead in the match. Thirty five out of all three four. That is awesome because single pins alone for a class A bullet just sixty eight to seventy two percent conversion rate for class D a lot less than that. Four for four in single pins for spares. That is incredible. For a D bowler. Fifth spare of the match, but too far left. 4 2 split of 14 blocks, 39 through 4 in the third of 5. Spare 5, 2, and 10 in the first. That strike fill a 7. A spare 5 in the second. Hooks it right. 1 4 7. In this situation, go for the short 2 on the left. Or well, if you're like me, you can't make it a 9. You throw it in the middle and get a 7. Raise the four pin for an eight. 47 half for the gentle giant, Bill Olson. Halfway through his match on the road. The 3 6 matchup. John Hogan lost the first, 118 105. Won the second, a, a tight one. Low scoring, 90 84. He trails 202 195. A 54 have to tie the match. Halfway through the match. That's five up, five down. One, three, six in front behind the five pin and the eight left. Looks good. Up the wall, just missed the six. Wow. Great try. Nine. 9-9, nine, nine, box to box. He's down 7 in the match. 
The format is five strings, five boxes at a time. They switch lanes every five boxes. Yet there's a tie up to five strings. Wouldn't that be something? Over time, one string. And another string if they tie up to six. I'd love to see a double double overtime match. I'm like the bowlers, but I'd love to see it. It's fun to call. Our first diamond of the night. Nice shot, but won't carry. That looked good. Five right, eight left. Trying to get a ten box to tie the string and keep it a seven pin deficit in the match. Hogan, nine, 18 through two. Now one in the string, eight in the match. Forty-seven year older, now in Hayfield, Mass, originally Danvers, Massachusetts, thanks to Salem, Mass, my hometown growing up. 102 is season high average. Best ever season ending average. Crossing over, eight, nine, not a strike. And look at that strange wood angled. And it make it tougher now. Seven pins because the barrel through. Where's Jeff Walsh, the bulldozer? Medium. You have one nine pin drop in the second, missed it for a spare. You got it! Living, living on the edge. What a shot for a spare. Crowd appreciates someone. Gives me a hand. 28 in the ball through three in the third of five. Leads by three right now. Down four in the match. Can take the lead. Up against a spare four and an eight. Three spares, one strike in the match. Single spares in each string. The Titan, beautiful ball, eight. Wobbling ten right, nine left. No wood, no luck. 36 through three, up 11 in the string. He leads the match by four. That's all you can do. Excellent pinning. Got that seven foot two pieces of wood for a spare in the edge and a ten box there in the edge after a nine ten split. Pretty two pretty good boxes. Forty six through four. Seven in the string. The match is tied. How many times have I said that in the last three years? We're tied. Dead even in the match. Right, just two. Got the six and the nine. So against an eight box. Back the ball hits the pocket, and he's eight down. He takes the lead right now by one pin. Can make it three. Halfway through the match. Hogan steals one for nine, takes a two pin lead in the match. 55 47, up eight in the string. Correction, he's up one in the match, make it. Up eight in the string, one in the match, my mistake. So one pin lead, halfway through the match. Shades of the first match of the season. You can watch it on Canlip and Bowling Network on YouTube, a 485 tie. And just great, great strings. Low scoring but competitive, and I love tight matches. Just like a football game, you see 10 7 games sometimes, 6 3 games, 1 nothing baseball games. All soccer games are one nothing, two to one. People like that. So why not a 485, 45 tie? Watch. Gotta give some love to the class D bowlers in the first season. Second half of the match underway. Back to 43. Bill Olson, the gentle giant, the half Worcester, two in the eight. Won the first 118, 105. Lost the second 90, 84. Down 55, 47. One pin in the match. Olsen, right side, is the one, four, and the nine. Pretty good high single, 172. Came back in 2023. 20, After a long layoff, just seven. 54 through six, middle string of five. Junior Tram New England Championship winner in 1986. 
won, won a number of league championships as well. Trying to get the hook in. This left up three is White as Sandy as well as men's keen basketball team, college team. Comes from a Brady Bunch family of six boys. Tough spot here now. 2023 won the 55 to 59 New Hampshire senior games. Gold medalist. Great guy. Tough six. A seven to six to start the second half of the match. 63 7 after 118. Excellent start. Hello, Terry Ports from Maine. Love to hear our Maine Bulls watching the stream. Love the comments. The Maine Bulls this weekend. The Kennel Pittsburgh Pants, the final four rounds. Scratch open men's and women's individual qualifiers. Saturday, May 25th, 2.30 and 5.30 p.m. Sunday, May 26th, the final two rounds, 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. Please register Candlepins number 4, cancel.com. Make a donation to the Bowlers Charity. Previous lemon drops or any donations? Candlepins number 4, cancel.com. San for me, Bowl of Rama. Wilson Dodge for 1, 2, and the 5. Live show is June 2nd, Sunday, 11 a.m. with special guest commentator, author, President's Cup winner, Mike Moran, radio personality over 50 years. Seven. It's a tough start. Seven six seven. Brutal. Sixty seven through eight. Didn't do anything wrong in that first. It's a tough battle. <laughs> nice ball, but a three one split. Six right, two, four, seven left. And officially three head pin hits here in the third, two splits. Same spot. Gary, New Hampshire. Nowadays. Just turned 56 early this month. Another seven, seven, six, seven, seven, seventy four through nine. Ouch. Got to bounce back. Got to fight through it. Led by 13 after one, seven after two. Trails by one halfway through the match. And John Hogan, the Titan, has a chance to go to double digit leads potentially. Can't find the pocket. Lucky to get eight. One of the three. Got to take advantage of this one. Seven makeable spare chances. So far, he's five for six on conversions. Pretty good. What in between to possibly help? Wow. Missed it. He got it. He stole it. He'll take it. That's a deep sigh of relief. 84 and a ball in the 10th. Take him while you can, folks. Second spear of the string. He's got six in the match. Let's go with one strike. Love a strike here. Heading to the fourth string. 27 four boxes and you throw a strike. What a strange game. If you can figure it out, please send me a message. The gentle giant, Bill Olsen. Only two. A tough, tough 86 second string after 80, third string after 84 second, 118 first. Now it's just 288 through three. After a promising start, it's gotten away. And John Hogan just to get the lead in the match. I mean, 93 is at 55 through 5. So a 38 half to tie the match, heading the final two strings. Hogan, he threw it away. Second only. Just Majeur, number two seed class here in a great year. One point out of first place to the general Brian Patton here watching with his wife Krista. Nice son. Two great people. Only born three years of candle for that. were 100. Dominic assembles the junior league has done really well. 4 9 10 now. Wood. He gets two, maybe three. 
He does. That's pretty shot. Slow motion 10. 65 through 6. Up 11 to strength. 4 in the match. That's been his biggest lead, I believe. 4 pins. Go at a 47 first half. One spare 4. A second half of 39. With a spare 2 in the end. The Titan. The 3. The three seed on lane 43, the six seed sitting down, keeping score. 18 week season, now in the first round of the playoffs, the quarterfinals. Not dead 10, lucky get that right, leave three and the five. Three is the right, five and the left. Nice 10. Back-to-back 10s -back for the number three seed, John Hogan. 75-60 has his biggest lead of the match, I believe. 15 up right now. Biggest lead is eight. Two strings left after this. Unless we have overtime. Hogan, nice ball. Wills down the 4-7. A great chance of the 3-6-10 on a mini run here right now. Artificially one for three of makeable spares coming to this box. That one threw it away. Missed opportunity. John average 101.46 in the 18 week season. Bill 99.27. And that is a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. What a buck in. Some both put one dollar in. Just Majora's doing it. Sarah Wright, Rich Lerman, the ACSD are doing that. John Dorn, the Big 20, and Scar Romain doing that. All that money helps families going through cancer treatments in the Candlepin community. Very impressive. Three tens in a row. 85 through 8. The lead after three. Another good ball. And a nine drop. The pin of the channel leaning up its wall. It's a leader in horseshoes. Give him two points. Second nine drop of the strength. What kind of plank to help? All over it's spare. 95 with a ball in the ninth. And a spare eight in the third. Spare fill so far 10, 5, and 8. A strike 9 fell in the first. Another good ball in the pocket. It's a triangle. Holds up. Five, eight, nine. Probably better standing with that wood. Ten right corner. That's a six fill in the spare. One on one through nine. He'll lead by double digits after three. Six head pin hits unofficially in the string. His best string. Can you kick it over? Up the wall. No. Good try. That's all you could do. Trying it to 111. Excellent string. Nine, one ten, third string for the Titan, John Hogan, the number three seed, the home ball in the opening round playoffs, the quarterfinals. John, nine up top. So he wins at 111. They get a look 111 in action. That was nine, wasn't it? That was nine. Scobert said ten, so it's nine. So 110, 86. That string win. He wins it by 24. He has his biggest lead after the string. 17. Two strings to go. Can Bill Olson get that first string magic back? We'll find out. Back to lane 44. We'll put the official scores up just a moment. Yeah. Near the standings again, if you missed it earlier, this is what we had for the eight playoff teams coming in. This is the second playoff match in the opening round. If you can see on the bottom there, we'll right scroll over left to right because the stupid portrait mode on Facebook limits our wide angle. Sarah's already punched a ticket into the conference finals. The fifth seed edged the fourth seed on a thrilling come from behind win. Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning here, 11 o'clock start. Rich Lerman, Van McAllister, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. And we got the 3 6 matchup here today. Their third meeting of the year in the same division. Which arm took 15 points out of 28 during the season. We'll put the uh, box by box scores and running totals after this box.
four straight underway. Marsh him over, seven, eight, nine, even better. For a spare, oh, so close. Hmm. He said an expletive, we're not going to say that. And that's no good. Hit the wood in the channel. No good at nine. You made first, first, first four single pins for spares. Still an 80% clip. Pretty good. Here's the first three strings for Bill. And the first for Johnny. And we'll put the running tools out this next box. Back to live action. Oh, whole single pinning. Another crossover. Wobbling triangle. Six wobbling around the middle. Correction four middle. Four middle, seven left, eight right, ten right corner. You know, the running totals for the first three. No good bill at the start. Chinese chipped away. Big third string. As much 17. And the channel out slips. Six, fifteen through two. Slow starts. Last three strings. Three spears, one strike in the first, one spear in the second, two in the third. Down seventeen coming in. It was up thirteen after one. Nice ball on the nose. Two perfect. Spread eagle throwing the eight behind the two. Three head finits, two splits. In three boxes. And three into four. Oh, what a try! Two, four, and the eight. Heck of a bid. It's all you can do. Like the car song that said on Candy O. It's all I can do. Great song. 80s. Late 70s. Also nice. 10. Outstanding box. 25 through three, and the fourth of five. They tied the first week, week of the season, the division, 485 apiece. John won the second match 10 to 4, 552 to 508. So we both won on the road. Three. And if he did what he did on the road at Lakeside. Love overtime. Doing said nothing there. Seven still standing. Big out. That'll do up the Augusta Maine special, the 1710 Sports on Augusta Maine. Lousy lead. Great aim for bowling center of the Mark Carrier, a seven. Shout out to our friends up north in Maine. Just 32 through 4. It's been a grind since I've 118, 105. First thing win, 84, 86 since. John had a 90 second of 110 third to lead by 17. Nice ball in the pocket. Look like a strike ball. You gotta be kidding me. Unbelievable. Wow. Six right, nine left. Left side, seven, eight. Even more crazy if you can get this shot for a spare. But that would to help. Possibly. Three splits and four hit pin hits. Going outside. Oh, good try. Sliced and diced. Seven to nine. That would have been something. Trying to get the 42 and a half. A nice 10 with the wood. 42 through five. Halfway through the fourth. John Hogan up 17 to strength and add more to it without a mark. The 3 6 matchup, the three seed has the lead, approaching lane 44. Balls are stupid. It's not yeah. Hogan, only four. <laughs> Wow. 
one of the eight. John's thrown four strikes in a row in a doubles tournament in Academy Lanes in the past. Also came in second in the States tournament a few years ago. Big fan of Norm Duke in 10 pin bowling. That's a nine to start his fourth of five. Tied in the string up 17 in the match. High single 142, high triple 372, high five list is 551. <laughs> 552, we bowled it against me last match. 552 make it right, because the last match is 552, so that's not correct. 552. Eternals 9, wobble the 7. Where's the Haber line? How close do you get? So 552 is new high 5 there in the ACST. Spears last two. Nine drops for Spears. Nails it, Spear. 19-15, up four in the string. 21 in the match, his biggest lead. He can push up as much as 31. Bill made his first four nine drops before missing his last one. John missed his first one, made his last three. Hogan in the pocket, bounces seven, eight. The four goes down also, another nine drop, back to back nines. Be great in the nine pin tournament, there'd be a strike. Twenty-eight through two in the fourth. Alvaro Wood, no, roadblock. It's a break for Bill Olson. It's going to be a big finish to get to the second round. Conference semifinals. Now it goes. That's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. His second time to do it today. 38 through 3, up 13 in the string, 30 in the match. 43 pin turnaround since that first string. Tight John Hogan just missed the pocket. Takes down the eight and back. The four swing right is the one, three, six, ten. In Millis, we call it the Rick Kamarowski special of it. Teammates for years in the Friday Mixed League. Made a living off that shot, high in the average pro rate of 36%. So I call it the Kamarowski special. Oh, somehow it didn't go. Oh, you could be kidding me. <laughs> he looks up like unbelievable. Six pin left up for a ten. Yeah, Rick was one of those clutch bowlers I've ever seen in the regular as a league bowler, semi-pro bowler, great guy too. Oh, this wife Deb Kimrowski, a hot ticket. Very funny. Just missed for a nine. Rick Kimrowski and Millis just turned 70 last year. If you make the full husband, you see Rick Kimrowski and Millis just say, hey Rick, I made the Kimrowski special. I'll get a kick out of it. Nine box 47 through four. That's in Ryan's Millis, Massachusetts. I'm about running here. John's a comfortable lead in the match. Or it's been the post. Play flag, plays pl growing up flag football, soccer, basketball, baseball, cannon bowling, and softball. Drops out the two, four, seven is the one and ten. Try to get to fifty seven and a half. Missed it left for an eight. Decent half. 55 through five. Halfway through the fourth to five. He's up a baker's dozen the string. 30 in the match. Bill's got some work to do. How about four or five marks in the match? He's got to pin one and get those marks. It's gone salt since that 118, 105. First string win. <laughs> If John Hogan wins this match as the three seed, setback shot. There goes the five, the six, go the tangles! Strike! Whoa! Sliding strike. He could have used that one. He got it. Big break for him. He'll take it. 52 through six in the fourth of five, the quarterfinals. The Atlantic Camp and Similar Store, inaugural season, Class D, Northern Conference. Yeah,
Five hit hits and six tries. Finally, no split a strike. And a strike seven to fill in the first. A double be huge. Looks good. Another setback shot, but no dominoes to deliver this one. Not enough help. Five middle, six ten right. We'll go with the scenarios again later on. Playoffs. Try to tap that wood left. He does. Too far left. Not a guarantee anyway. Seven to the strike for the second time today. 59 through 6 in the fourth. Try to get two. He gets one for an eight. 67 through 7. Mark Neal would certainly help to keep it close on the final string. So John wins. He'll take on Sarah Wright, possibly. Nice ball. A split, maybe. A six leads towards the three somehow. Crazy lead. Three, six right. Woods to the right. Wood rolling to the four on the left. Seven head pins. Five splits here in the fourth. Taking a look at that wood. Maybe too deep behind that four on the left. It could go right side, but it's angled. Not the best way. Let's see how he plays it. I'm going for the pins. I'm going with that three pin. Let's go with the wood. It goes! Wow! What a shot for a spare! Didn't know if he'd have to find it, but it did. Slow motion going down in harmony. Two marks, last three. Here comes the gentle giant. 77 the ball through eight. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. First spare of the string. Do it with one strike. Big fill, but he hooks it right. Spin six, seven. That's a big break. One, four, seven. Wood in between. 84 through eight. Eight head pin hits. Six splits in nine boxes. But back to back, missed left, and no comeback in this one. So Got to feel a little better now about his game. Nine. Ninety three through nine. Last two straight killed him after aggressive first string, 118, 84, second, 86, third. Puts him in a hole, but has time to still pull it off. Olsen crossing over for the ninth head pin of the string. Check mark, five middle, two, four, seven left, ten right. Would behind to possibly spin over the east coast. 90% on the head pin, seven hit splits. Trying to muscle it through it too far right. Now he's got a plain check mark. Trying to get the 103. For the 99.27 18 week season average. Seven. Even 100. Fourth string. A 58 second half. 388 below his average through four. Well, you see signs of his. It's old days of bowling. 112. John Hogan can win the string again, increase his lead, which was 17. It's 30 right now at the half. So he needs a 45 half to keep a 17 pin lead going to the final string. Nice pocket shot, a little thin. 5 1 splits. A diamond plus the 7, 10 right corner. Check out the brand new Pub 125 near its second anniversary. Great pub style, high quality food. The pizza is awesome. The chicken tenders are delicious. I like the pretzels personally. The burgers are excellent too. Pub 125, 725 South Main Street, traffic section of Haver Mass. 278. Full bar as well. Great, great staff. And tremendous ownership in DeBurrows. Ted Joshua. Nice out, 10, 65 through 6 in the 4th to 5. Currently, at that spare strike, strike 7, he's up against. He's up 6 in the stream, 23 in the match. He's 
fifth lemon drop of the match. Five dollars for Canon for Cancer. Ja Jing. He wants a lemon drop sponsor. I want a gas sponsor. The parallel pins in the middle. One, three in front, five, nine behind, ten right corner, wood in between. The one. Now it's rolling away. Five separate slum lemon drops. One dollar, five on a spare spot. Nice foul. Take a nine out of that. Seventy-four through seven. Late in the fourth. With seven completed boxes up seven in the string, twenty-four in the match. Without a mark. Bill is in striking distance, will be three marks behind. Hogan, five, four, two split, four, seven left, one, three, six, ten, four horsemen right. We broadcast later on tonight or tomorrow on Canopy and Bowling Network on YouTube. In high definition, over 1,000 videos, free of charge, never a charge. Canopy and Bowling Network on YouTube. Good bid. And almost got it. Four on the seven. Excellent try. Angle piece of wood makes it tougher. And he got through it for a 10 up after a spare seven he was up against. So right now it's actually tied in the string. 84 84. Still had a good second half. 84-84, so 17-pin lead in the match for the, ti the Titan, the number three seed, John Hogan. Up against 16, 9 to 7, next to it. Same thing, it's the replay. Deja vu. Rewind the tape. Raise the head pin. Got a chance to get three here on the right. It does for an eight. 92. Down one in the string, 16 in the match, up against a seven. A 10 box adds two to the leads, It'd be 19 going to the final string. Not as much as 32, I believe. 30 halfway through the string. Down 13 up to one. Crossing over nine, ten strike. Legal block in the back. Throw the flag. Knock down the six. His second strike of the match. 102 plus two over his average again. And over three of the four. Each of the two strikes the match. Each of the strike in the first. Each of the strike in the fourth. Happy Cat Society. On the strike, five. Eric Sarge, I'm watching. Sarge. Second strike ball is eight box. A nice finish. 110 for the second string in a row for the Class D bowler. That's a Class B average or better. 110, fourth string. Up wins by 10. He's up 27 with one string to go in the conference quarterfinals. The Atlantic Canopin Singles Tour, Class D Northern Conference, Paul Grand Live, Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. Can Bill Olson go Sarah Wright here in the fifth? Go, Bill. That's Bills. Good second half. Missed some chances. John's slow start. And that second string. Decent first. Two good strings after that. And here the running total is going on the final string. Final string underway. Olsen trying to start strong, head pin a diamond. Less than one in four times he's convert without wood, stands by Canopin Bowling Network. Nine head pin hits, seven splits in the last string.
and did okay with 100. Right, slightly over his 90 plus average. Threw it away. His hand has been sticking a lot tonight. A lot of lakeside lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, the ACST. Six, that's not the start he wants. Just a great guy to meet, though. Gonna probably need a 120, 130 to advance. 130 of a chance. Like the way John's ball off to throw at 140. He does have the high five this year in the ACST class D at 573. It's high five overall, 636. But we've a lot. Just missed that pin, that 4 2 split. One of the two. So need a bunch of marks. Double strike would certainly help. Gentle Giant, Bill Olsen, 10, 16 through 2 in the final string of the match. If there's a tie somehow, we have a one string roll out till someone wins. The overtime thriller two years ago, semi pro division I mentioned earlier, now class B Danny Fay, the commissioner of the ACST, the six seed edge Jordan Britton in overtime, a thriller on Candle from Moly Network on YouTube, and Lions Mills Mass. Powers down eight, one of the three, gotta take advantage of this one, missed one earlier. For spare, hooked it right again. He made his first four single pins for spares before missing his last one to keep him in the match. Dropped it nine, just 25 through three. Gotta get some marks going here. Unless John Hogan is a bad string. Bill's got to get at least three marks. Probably five. Beautiful ball strike, what a cue! Third strike of the match! One in the first, one in the fourth, one in the fifth. Boy, he needed that one. 35 plus two through four. The gentle giant has life. Hooked it right. Steal seven, eight, maybe nine, eight, one of the seven. Got to cash in here. For a spare and strike. He got it. A 20 box, 45 through four, 55 and a ball through five. The gentle giant is alive. John Olsen, the Titan. Bill Olsen sits down. John Hogan starts the fifth string out 27 in the match. Can he hold on? Eric, I think you spelled that wrong. Change that, please. <laughs> Hogan on the nose. 3 2 split. 2 4 7 left. 6 10 to the right. Start his fifth and final string of regulation. Perfect place, won't go. Back to back 110s, last two strings after 105 and 90 start. The home bowler, eight, up two in the string, 29. The match perfect, it's a 10, nine strike spare, 55 plus one half. So no marks. Bill can possibly top about 20. 15 to 20 pins off the deficit. Give him a puncher's chance. Hogan goes right. 4 2 split. That, that was a wow, Eric Sargent. Same spot. A four box here makes things a whole lot interesting. He got swept by Sarah Wright. 14-0 here at home. For, for the season. 
and a five. 13 through two. Fills up three in the string, leads down to 24 for John Hogan in the match in the final string of the match. 3 tenths gets to 43, they'll cut to 15 pins, and also not on a stick and cut it as much as 5 on a strike, Phil. That's why you have to fight through every box, every strike. Hogan threw it away again, steals a bunch. A center diamond plus the 10, lucky to get that. Turned around, not happy with that shot. One at 1.46 during the season. Or spare, no more standing. One, three, five, ten. Getting flustered. The Titan, nice out. Nine ties that box. Twenty-five, twenty-two down. Three in the string of twenty-four. The match gets a strike. Spare. From the gentle giant Bill Olson here in the fifth. From Academy Lanes Pub 125, April Mass, on the ACST Facebook page. Rebroadcast on Canada from Blowing Network on YouTube in high definition. Hit that subscribe button, always free. Hogan on the nose, splits two and one. Unbelievable, he says. Six right, two four left. Two red pits, two splits. Hogan, eight. Ball to go, though. Eight it is. 30 through four. Bill shot 50 off the deficit. down to a dozen. And he's up against a spare. A 10 box for a 40 half. The Bill will be down just 12 in the match with a spare to fill. Trying to bounce back, left side, another 4 2 split for the second time this half. Pulling to your seat, folks. Masking your seat belts again. Only one. Five standing. You get this match for your friends and family. Nothing like the great game of cannibal bowling. An unbelievable sport for all ages. And a five. Folks, check this out. Bill Olsen's up 20 in the string, down seven in the match. Halfway through the final string. He's on a spare to take the lead. Unthinkable. Bill's hand's been sticking, so he's trying to get his hands so they don't stick. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion. They... Had a battle in the first week of the season on Candle from Network and YouTube. They tied that match. And five excellent close strings. Sat right down 22 to Alex Patton in that 4 5 matchup. The fifth seed won it. And Olsen to take the lead. No, just three. 58 35, up 23 in the string down, just four in the match. Here we go again. Olsen trying to bounce back. 1, 5, 8, 10. Not going to be easy. Try to get a couple here. I'm right behind. Try to never give up, guys. Never throw up gals. Never throw a ball away. Nice out. Head pin 8. 66 through 6. Overtime if we tie after 5. Wouldn't that be something? John won the season series 15 points to 13. Total pinfall, all that matters to get to the conference semifinals. Olsen, right side, three. Won the first, 118, 105, dropped the second, 90, 84, dropped the third, 110, 86, lost the fourth, 110, 100. Nice ball, oh, just can't get to the 10, what a try. Every pin counts. Ten. 
76 through 7. A mark would help. Two marks to put the heat on the Titan. John Hogan. Bill Bolton, the Hampshire State last year. I met him there. He threw three lemon drops on spares. That's why I got the connection with him. The lemon drop. Put twenty dollars in. And we joked about it afterwards, and that's why I got to know him. Great guy. Cossack. That one got away. His first lemon drop. One dollar for Campus Cancer. Six overall raise between the two bowlers. Bounce back. Takes down Bunch. Almost stole it. One of the three. That would helped. Can I get the 10 box here? Up the wall. Ball bounces back. Will it hit the three? No. As the world turns, it rolls away for a nine. 85 to 8. Could use a mark. Holden can win it if Bill does not get a mark. Build on 27 coming to the string. We have two fifth string miracles in the last three days. Bill close to two in the eight. I hate that shot. Right, unbelievable, brutal. It's a cruel game. One five sent to Western Hook plus banana split on the sides. Olsen, six, seven, eight. Big break, huge break. Remember that shot, folks. 93 through 9 is final box. A mark to perhaps put him into the second round, the conference semifinals. Hulking can win it with the mark. After a tough 35 half, at the half, Bill's up 23 in the string, down four in the match, but no marks here. Olsen, not going to be easy, four. He gets this mark. Hogan does not get one, he can win the total of the series. Nice shot! Oh, he just missed the four! Tough, tough break. Two close calls, no dice. Ten would be huge. You get the 103. I'll not get his average. Nine. Will it be enough to get the second round? Odds not in his favor. Unless John has a second half like he did in the first half. 102, 490. He had a 485 tie in week one of the season. Hogan won the second match. 552 to 508 here in Academy Lanes. Now he starts his final half for a 35 half. He's up four in the match, up against an open second half. He's got a great chance to win. And how many balls like this? And 31 half is all he needs to get to the conference finals. I believe, yep, 30, 30. Good second ball, 589 of the 10. So he's got a great chance to advance. He throws another 35 half, you will not get there. Hogan, 7. 42 through 6. Down 24 in the string, up 3 in the match. Twenty-four is the match with in four boxes. Bill had a couple of shots, didn't go his way. Missed a couple of two pinners early on. Lemon drop for six times, seven dollars for Campus for cancer. Half Wester, brutal. And if you miss the three box, things get a whole lot interesting. Oh, 
Hogan gets a three. Unbelievable. 45 through seven. He needs 30 to tie for overtime. A mark to win. Three bucks to go in the quarterfinals. Class D Northern Conference, first season. A mark to win. To cash into the second round. Hogan, nice ball. Check mark. Gives him a chance. Five middle, three, six, ten right. Three edge minutes, two splits. That's not a split officially. Here in the fifth. This can put him in the conference semifinals. Looks good. Won't go. Needs a 10 to avoid a mark. Three tens for overtime. That's why every pin counts, folks. Never throw a ball away. Don't give up when you're struggling. Big 10. He got it. Two boxes for overtime without a mark. Two tens. 55 through 8. Has a 5, two fives, and a 3 box in a string. The 3 seed. Feeling the heat at his home house. Takes a deep breath on lane 43. Delivers right side. 6, 1, 2, 7, 9. Two 10 boxes. We're going to overtime. If he gets two 10s. Miss left. Needs all three to avoid a mark. Big time shot. He gets nine. Cannot tie unless he gets a spare one or a strike one. Final box. 11 to tie for overtime. A mark one. A 10 box or less won't get it done. A mark two to win it. Just 64 through nine. Off to the left, three. Got to get this to advance. Unthinkable finish for the Titan. Had a great season, great guy. 47 needs to get this. And it's worst string of the season. Picked up a long time for this. But can redeem himself here. Looks good. It just missed. And Bill Olsen, like Sarah Wright, survives the fifth string. And going to the conference semifinals. Tough break for John Hogan. Ten. And Olsen wins the match by one pin. 102 74. One pin win. They tied the first meeting. The crowd gives a hand. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. You got to feel for John Hogan. He's been great all year. Great guy on and off the lanes. Seventy-four string. After two one tens. Welcome to Canada Bowling, folks. Four eighty, four ninety to four eighty-nine. They tied four eighty-five in the first week, and boy, that was fun, folks. We'll put the official scores out. Talk to the guys before we sign off. Thank you for watching this great game of Canada Bowling. Please, please share this match. Get your friends out to Canada Bowling. There's nothing like it. Let's get the scores up first for Micah, and uh, there's no points. It's just total pinfall. Bill Olson shined in the first. Vintage Bill Olson in the past, 118.84. 118, rather, his first string, 105. Let's show Bill scores first. Tom Grasso, that was a while. So two company victories for the Class D Bowlers. Both visiting Bowlers. Went on the road, obviously. Bill, 118.105. John, 90.84. Bill's up 202 to 195. John, 110.86. Up 17. 305, 288. John, Wins again, 110, 100, 27, 415, 388, was 29 after one box. And then Bill had a couple of missed chances, 102, but John had a tough string, 74. And 490 to 489, unthinkable finish. And again, my heart, your heart got to go out to John Hogan. What a great year. He just picked a bad string at the wrong possible time. Let's talk to the Bulls before we sign off. Want to talk? Sure. Bill, are you in the camera there? Let's see you from the camera. You can come on down. Bill, Bill, it's, it's a heartbreak to be John. I know it's a heart. I know it hurts. 
but you had a great season, number three seed. You're a class act. The fifth string got away from you. But you were great. Two one tens. I know it hurts. Been on that side. I've lost playoff matches by one pin. It definitely stings. Yeah. I should have had the spare, but. You made a great shot. That's, that was a tough leave you just missed. That was a great shot. I had a couple leaves that I needed I needed to get, but obviously it didn't work for me. So, right. last game wasn't good enough. I know it's hard. Thanks for being <laughs> humble and talking to us. And, uh, you're going to be a force next season. A chance to win it all next year. I hope so. <laughs> all right. Have a good summer, John Hogan. Thank you, Thank you very much. The Titan goes down to Bill Olson. The Gentle Giant, I mentioned several times, the first meeting, it just felt like the first meeting, but the, the strings swung back and forth like a pendulum. you got to be just thinking, how did I win this? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I got the whole middle of that whole match, my ball was sticking and I just couldn't couldn't fix it. How do you, how do you just as a bowler going forward when you happen to me? I, knew it. I, I mean, the, it, the humidity in here was horrendous, yeah. and I think it probably played on both of us, and... Uh, you know, I knew this was going to be a close match. I, I threw a great game in the first game, and, and John was right there. And then, you know, I, I figured I needed two more marks in that last string to, to get to well, where I Well, I mentioned earlier in the stream that you got your four, you had four single pins for spares. You made all the first four. You missed the last one. And I said, that kept you in the game. Otherwise, it would have been a lopsided. Absolutely. Whatever, the 50s. Yeah. And you're down 27, 20 after the first box. Sarah is down 22 to Alex Patton, another great guy that had a tough loss by 11. And now you do the same thing on the road like Sarah Wright did. Yeah, you just win and move on at this point. You know, I feel really bad for John because he, he bowled his heart out today. And I felt coming in that we were both going to be well above what these scores were today, but it was tough. It was tough. I think the move at the last second and the change of the lanes and the humidity has just been a killer. So yeah. I'll just move on, and whoever's next is next, and, you know, start over again. One box at a time. Talk about your new bowling ball. I mentioned you talk about your new bowling balls you got. And how you got and how you got your nickname, by the way? I, I, I leaned into Paul's nickname that he gave me, the Gentle Giant. So my new bowling balls, which I probably should have used tonight, uh, gen have gentle on two of the balls and giant on two of the balls. So you know, <laughs> I, I figured I'd, I'd, I'd keep you happy, Paul. Hey, only one lemon drop. What's wrong with that? Not on a spare. Yeah, and that was on the second ball, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that the gutter ball yeah. that I threw the Yeah, it still ball? counts, though. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. <laughs> hey, a three-letter word for surviving 490 to 489. Wow. All right. Wow. Thank you, Paul. Tough loss for John Hogan. 490 for Bill Olsen. The Gentle Giant beats the Titan. John Hogan, 489. Watch the rebroadcast later tonight or tomorrow on Canlifan Bowling Network on YouTube from Academy Lanes Pub 125. Thanks for watching this unbelievable game of Canlifan Bowling. Paul Grant saying so long for now. Thanks again. We'll see you Wednesday with the doubleheader at 10 o'clock and 7 o'clock at night. C&D Battle on the ACST Facebook page. Thanks again. I don't know if this covers you guys with your lemon drops. <laughs> hey, John.